Mr. Abu Hamdan has just won the Balwas Art Prize 2018. What was his reaction to this prize? Uh, well, actually, he was extremely happy because uh, the Balwas Prize, when you participate in statements, it's one of the reasons what, that you want to do statements because it's a, a real recognition to the work uh, and to the work also of the gallery because, you know, it's a, it's a teamwork. Uh, we are showing a very controversial and not always very easy project. So for us, it was a great surprise that uh, the, Bal the Balois uh, uh, jury was agreed on giving uh, such an important recognition to a project that for some people is going to be uh, a conflict, for some people is going to be easy to understand, some of them they won't understand. But uh, we are extremely happy to get this opportunity to show this work, uh, to show his work to a broader audience and to be here, of course. Can you shortly explain the work he has been awarded for? Yes, we are presenting, uh, we are recreating in the booth a place called the Shouting Valley, which is a disputed territory in the Golan Heights between Syria and uh, Israel. And during the ceasefire in 1967, this uh, place was separated and uh, there was a, a new border was established. And some of the families living there, they were separated and the only way they have to communicate is through shouts. Why? Because in this place there's a particular acoustic situation that allows people from one side to the other to shout and to communicate. And in this particular case, in the show, in the work that we are presenting, um, it's taken from uh, images and footage of 2011 when the border collapsed for a very short period of time and these families had the opportunity not only to see and to shout to each other, but to gather and to salute for a very short moment because the border was closed. So what we want to point out here is how uh, people in extreme political, geopolitical situations, they can communicate. Are there any upcoming projects? Uh, it's a very exciting uh, moment for Lawrence. Uh, I think that the, the next big step is going to be he's having a solo show at the Chisendale uh, in, uh, in London, uh, most awaited, and he's finalizing his residency in Berlin. Uh, which is uh, getting to an end. And uh, he's also preparing a major project at uh, Tate Tanks that will be unveiled in October.